By the end of this video, I'm guaranteeing you that you will gain more subscribers than you did ever before. Most of the other YouTubers and these coaches, gurus, when you ask them, how can I make money from my OnlyFans? They usually tell you two things. First, is to just make better content, get more, get more views, start more marketing channels. And the other is increase your chatting or your chatting ratio to be exact. But almost no one is talking about conversion rate. So if you are not familiar with the term conversion rate, what that means is, for example, if you have 100 views, from that 100 views, how many subscribers or sales you can get? For example, if from every 100 views, you are able to get one subscriber, that means you have a 1% conversion rate. You can have millions and millions of views on TikTok, but still, you might not get a single subscriber. Or you can just get, let's say, 10,000 views and get 100 subscribers. It's not, pos it's not likely to happen, but you do get the point of what conversion rate is. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can increase this conversion rate. First up is going to be increasing the conversion on Instagram. We are going to be talking about Instagram because a lot of people are using TikTok as a marketing source. Almost every agency is using it right now. And most of them are funneling the guys to one Instagram page. On that, the biggest issue that I have seen is not having a good funnel. So they have really good quality TikTok videos, posting three, five times a day, or multiple accounts, repurposing content, doing all of that shit, but their Instagram is total trash. So we are going to fix it right now. First up is going to be writing the IG handle into the bio itself. In the last couple of months, Instagram came out with a new update where if there is a new customer or a new person looking up your account, they might not see the link itself because Instagram doesn't want users to use Instagram as just as a funnel. They have noticed that a lot of people just go search up an account, click on the link and then leave Instagram right away. That way Instagram is not making any money. So because of that, they came up with a solution where if you search up a new account, you might not get the link right away. Because of that, we came up with a new solution, which is if you write the IG handle into the bio, the same exact IG handle, then the guys will click on it, it will refresh the page itself, then they are able to see the link and then go to the OnlyFans and subscribe and you make money. The best way that we, have, we are using this tactic, the writing the IG handle into the bio is, for example, writing, click here to see my secret link and then the tag itself. That makes the guys click on that tag. Next up is going to be posting stories every single day. You do have to post stories every fucking day. I've seen so many accounts just not being active at all. The guys will know that, yeah, this must be just a spam account or a fake account because if you are that active on TikTok posting five times a day, now why are you not active on Instagram, right? We do usually post three to five stories every single day. And out of those stories, at least one of them is going to be a call to action to subscribe to the OnlyFans page. You can post videos or photos. Videos tend to work way better. In the videos, the model is just saying, hey guys, I'm online right now. Make sure to text me. Hey guys, I'm lonely right now. Can you text me on OnlyFans? These kind of things or just a picture of her in some sexy lingerie or maybe in a bikini. And in that story, we usually put the link itself there. Not just saying that here is my link tree or here is my OF, but check out my secret link, check out my spicy link. Don't let that find out this page. You get the idea. Next up is going to be posting one or two memes. It's making the account look more believable. Because again, if you're posting a fuckload of content on TikTok, you do have a couple of stories out every single day, then it means that you're active on Instagram, then why not just post a couple of stuff which is in her interest? For example, a couple of memes or pictures of cars if she's into that or some gaming related shit, those kind of stuff. Next up is going to be one or two lifestyle photos or selfies. That means, for example, she goes out to make her nails done or make her hair, 
or go out to get some coffee, a couple of selfies that again makes the account look more believable. That's why you will get a way higher conversion rate because then the guys will know that yeah, she's not just on OnlyFans for or not just being run by an agency, but this is really her. Next up is going to be just active, just being active on the feed itself, posting two, three times a week. For that, we do have a photographer. We just hired him for the whole agency. But if you don't have the money for that, then you can just go to Airbnb experiences, locate your city or where, where she lives, and then just hire a photographer for 30, 50, 100 bucks per photo shoot. Then you can make content for a couple of weeks or even one, one or two months in advance, just from that one or two photo shoots. Next up is going to be followers. I've received so many complaints of guys saying that the their conversion is fucking terrible. They are posting stories every single day. They have a good call to action. But again, it still looks really fake if you don't have at least one to three thousand followers and you are not following people. Just imagine you are a good looking girl. You have been posting on Instagram for quite a long time. You must have one to three thousand followers at least. Just search up the most beautiful girl that you know, who is not doing OnlyFans, and I'm 100% sure that she at least has 1,000 1, followers. I'm 100% sure on that. And then following. If you're a real person and if you're using Instagram 24/7, then you're going to be following at least one or two hundred accounts. There are so many models and so many agencies which only follow five accounts. And those are, you know, the biggest ones, for example, Kim Kardashian, Messi, Apple and those shit. That's not believable. If you're a real Instagram user, you are following your girlfriends or meme pages and stuff like that. Next up is going to be the bio itself. In the bio, we write one or two words about the model herself. So her age, where she's studying, what she's studying, basically any, anything related to her niche. And then another call to action. For the call to action, we usually write check out my or make sure to check out my secret site down here and then an emoji pointing downwards. That's a really good call to action that we have been using. Other stuff is I'm getting a lot of messages from guys saying that there is no traffic on their account. There are no guys that they can chat with. What should they do? I always tell them Check out your DMs on all of the platforms that you are managing and you're promoting your models on. I'm 100% sure if you check it right now, check out the DMs on Reddit, on Twitter, on TikTok and on Instagram or on any other social media platform that you're using for promotion. I'm guaranteeing you that it is full of guys. If you have so much time because you, are, you don't have any traffic, just try to convert them. That's it. Or if you don't have the time yourself, but you have a chatter, you can just assign that task to the chatter himself. Free traffic or almost free traffic. We now have went through all of the stuff that I would recommend to implement into your Instagram page to increase your conversion. But the next stuff is going to be the link itself. Almost everyone forgot to increase the conversion rate on the link. I've made this mistake myself. When I started out OnlyFans management around one and a half years ago, what I did was hopped on OnlyFinder, checked out the biggest OnlyFans creators and literally copy paste their whole funnel, which was, I mean, it sounded like a good idea, but the issue was they are at a way different level than you are right now. They are building up their personal brand. Right now you're not focusing on that or you shouldn't be focusing on that, but just getting as much money as possible. Later on, when you want to bring her up or yourself up or if you are the model, then you can focus on building up a personal brand. But if you only have 50, 100, 200 subscribers on your OnlyFans page, then it doesn't make any sense. They had all of these biggest creators, a bunch of their other socials on the link tree or in their, or in their custom website. They had their Reddit, Twitter, YouTube, Amazon wishlist, Snapchat, Telegram, all of that stuff, but that is going to key your conversion. That's because if you're a horny guy, you're coming from TikTok, you hop on the link tree, you see OnlyFans page, which is, you know, paid page, then Twitter and Reddit. 
you know that on these platforms, most of the girls are posting NSFW content, both on Reddit and on Twitter as well. So why would you pay for an OnlyFans page if you can get a fuckload of content for free on these sites? That's killing your conversion right now. Delete all of that. You don't have anything else apart from maybe Cash App or Amazon Wishlist on your link tree. Just the OnlyFans page. Next up is going to be a call to action in the description. A lot of people are just not using the description function on Linktree or on their custom website or beacons and other sites like that. You can write another call to action, which, well, which is basically don't tell that I have this secret site. You don't have to overcomplicate it, but a good and interesting call to action. Next up is going to be the OnlyFans link itself. I'm seeing so many, so many link trees saying here is my OnlyFans, check out my OnlyFans. That sounds very basic. Instead of that, you can write my super secret site, now 70% off. That sounds way, way better. Instead of check out my OnlyFans or my super secret site, now 70% off. You decide which one is better, right? Okay, we have went through Instagram, Linktree, now we are going to be talking about increasing the conversion rate on OnlyFans itself. This is the last part of the funnel, is the OnlyFans page. Why are the guys subscribing to OnlyFans creators? Two main reasons. First up is they want to see more content offer, spicier pictures and SFW content. Second is to chat with her. Those are the two main reasons why they are subscribing or why they are paying for a subscription. If you see an OnlyFans page, or let's say five bucks and it only has five to ten pictures you are not likely to subscribe to that page instead of another site which has 500 pictures and 200 videos which one would you choose same exact pricing same good looking model five pictures 500 pictures you don't need to post 500 pictures right away because i know that that's a lot of content but if you are starting out, having at least 100 posts that can be videos and photos combined, you are going to see a way higher conversion because then the guys will get at least some content for their for their money, right? I'm not sure who started this DMCA legal action copyright law trend, but it's such bullshit. If you watch or if you check out the OnlyFans terms of services you will see that it's in their terms of services that you cannot pirate and you cannot copy the content that you buy on the OnlyFans page itself. If you're a horny dude, you check out Samantha's OnlyFans page, you see a bunch of interesting things. For example, all the content that she's doing, she has hundreds of videos, BG content, GG content, blowjob, anal and everything. And then you get hit with DMCA copyright law, if you are pirating this, then you are eligible for something that's so stupid. That doesn't make any sense. Just delete that. Completely delete that part. Next up is going to be have a bigger discount. I split tested having no discount, 30%, 50%, 80% discount. All of these are split tested in multiple creators. And the higher the discount, the better the conversion is going to be. Meanwhile, the price itself stay the exact same. So for all of these tests, we were running $5 subscription. That means that uh, for example, with the no discount price, the regular subscription was $5 with the 50% one, it was $10, so on and so on. That means if you have a bigger discount, then you will see the bigger conversions while you can stay, you can keep the pricing the same. You cannot imagine how many accounts I have seen, which just leaves the discount description out completely, nothing there, or subscribe to my OnlyFans page as a discount description. That, that's not working. That's not, not adding any value to it. Why not add a little spice to it? Why not add a, add a little flip to it? What we write is only four spots left. So the guys already see that now there is a huge discount. So 80% off, only four spots left. So they are, you are making sure that you are get, you are giving them some anxiety that yeah I do have to subscribe right now because there's only four spots left 
The next one is you will get a notice surprise in your DMs when you subscribe. So they are already incentivized to subscribe even. Apart from seeing all of the other content which is on the wall, they will get a surprise in their DMs. What that's going to make is, apart from making them subscribe, they will check out the DMs right away. There are so many guys which just subscribe to the OnlyFans page and then don't hit the DMs ever. If they see a uh, description like that, then they will automatically message you, hey can I get my surprise, hey can I get my photo or anything like that, that you just write there. You can do some other incentives, for example, um, free decreating or free blowjob video or anything that you want. We just write, notice surprise and that's just a picture of the models in the lingerie, that's it. But we have seen really good success with decreating as well. Again, that depends on your niche. Having likes on a page is going to give you so much authority that you cannot imagine. If there is a model with only 50 to 100 likes, then the guys will say that, yeah, she is not, she doesn't have a lot of subscribers, not a lot of guys want her. So most of the guys will not be as attracted to her. But if she has one, two, three thousand likes, then the guys and all of the subscribers will know that, yeah, this model is admired by all of the other subscribers, but I'm special to her because she's talking to me. The last one is going to be a kind of black hat way of increasing your conversion rate, which is in the location we say near you 3.7 miles or something miles away. You do have to make sure to have a good chatting script and good chatters that can handle these kind of messages asking where do you live and can we meet up and those kind of questions because you will get hit by them 24 7 so the guys for some reason really believe that the location 3.7 miles away or something miles away all of the subscribers will say are you really nearby washington dc or are you really nearby los angeles then you can say yeah but i i cannot really talk about it because it's against terms of service i don't want to get my account banned so on and so on but it is going to increase your conversion so much they are going to subscribe just to see if she is really nearby i've seen so many subscribers just coming in are you really 3.7 miles away if yes then we should grab a coffee so many guys so many but if you leave that out and just say in your dreams or in your bed which works fairly well as well then you will have a way lower conversion rate. If you implement all of these tactics, which I've just shown you, making the Instagram account look more believable, being more active on there, decluttering the link tree that you use, and making these changes to your OnlyFans account, I'm guaranteeing you that you will see a way bigger conversion rate than you have ever seen before. That's a guarantee. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions in regards to all of this stuff that I've just mentioned to you or have any other video suggestions, make sure to let me know in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed it and see you next time. Cheers.